Hello crafty friends. Today I am coming on and I will be showing you all how to make this adorable boo banner. First I cut out three sheets using my Memento banner nesting die set and the paper that I used was from K and Company 12 by 12 paper pack. Once I cut them out, I sewed all around the edges. Here you'll see that I'm going back with the scissors and just trimming off some of the extra threads. I also sewed along the sewed the pom-pom trim along the bottom. And once I had that completed, I took um, it's called Fray Block, and I purchased it from Joann's. It's made by June Taylor Incorporated just place a little along the edges it keeps it from unraveling then I went in with my nesting scallop circle dies I cut out a large and then a medium size with the larger one I used my gold glitter cardstock which I purchased from Hobby Lobby it's the paper studio brand I cut that out three times then I went with the small the next the smallest die and I cut that out using some black glitter cardstock that I had in my paper stash. I cut that out three times and you'll see as I cut those out I just lay everything in place. I'm not gluing anything down yet. I like to get all my um, dies cut out or all my embellishments. I like to get those together and decide where I want to place them before I glue them down. Next you'll see that I'm using a um, alphabet die set. I will be using some shimmer cardstock to cut out the words boo. After I've placed those down, I will be cutting out a little skeleton. Here you can see I'm using my Spellbinders tool in one. I use the brush end. This helps push all the little extra pieces out. Once I have him finished, I will lay him down. And then I've cut out a spider web using some holographic cardstock and here I have some Heidi Swap bows that I purchased from Tuesday mornings. I'll take one of these out and we will use that along with a few clear rhinestones and there's my spider. I cut a spider out put a red gem on it. Here are the DIY stickers that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. I will be using the pumpkin and the ghost sticker. I will use my Copic marker Y68 to color the pumpkin. And then I will color the ghost using some acrylic white paint. If you haven't already, go over to my Facebook page, Crafting with Rhonda MC, and join. There you can share your projects along with other crafters. I look forward to seeing what everybody makes. Now let's finish painting our little ghost. Let's make him nice and bright. Once I finish color painting my ghost, I have taken my electric cutter and I have cut out some small circles. These I will glue down on all of the corners along the top using my Barely Arts glue. I will glue them on the front and on the back. Then I will go back with a hole punch and cut in between those. This adds extra stability so when you're running your twine through, it makes it very nice and sturdy so it doesn't tear. Now, once I have all these glued down in place, I will be using 
a piece of orange cardstock from some heavyweight cardstock that I purchased at Hobby Lobby. This I will be using with a Tim Holtz Thinlets rosette. I will cut that out and put that to the side. You'll see that along the bottom on the left. Now I'm going to turn my hot glue gun on and let that start getting hot. It's a cordless glue gun. Oh my gosh, I love it. I purchased it off of Amazon if anyone's interested. Now once this is getting heated up, I'm going to start gluing everything down and I am going to speed up the video here. Okay, there you have it. I did go back and add a little bit of ribbon on the end on each side. And also you'll see there on the O in the middle uh, towards the bottom left. That is a flower that I cut out with a uh, scallop circle punch that I had. And I made that using um, some pages from an old book that I had. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And thank you again for being here. Have a blessed day.